Good morning all. I am Mrs. Poonam Swapnil Zadav, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS, IOIT, Pune. Today we are going to see the what is combination and problems on combination, which comes under discrete mathematics. The combination is selection of some or all objects from a set of given objects where order of the object does not matter. The number of combination of n objects taken r at a time is represented by ncr or c in bracket nr. The number of combinations of n different things taken r at a time is given by ncr equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial where n is greater than or equal to r. Properties of combination first ncr is equal to n factorial upon r factorial n minus r factorial where n is greater than or equal to r. Now ncn is equal to n factorial upon n factorial n minus n factorial equal to 1. nc0 equal to n factorial upon 0 factorial n minus 0 factorial that is n by n factorial which is 1. nc1 equal to n factorial upon 1 factorial into n minus 1 factorial equal to n. nc2 equal to n factorial upon 2 factorial into n minus 2 factorial equal to n into n minus 1 by 2. So on. Now let us see the examples of the combination. First example, in how many ways a committee consisting of 4 men and 2 women can be chosen from 6 men and 5 women. Now the 4 men can be chosen out of 6 men in 6 C 4 ways so that the 15 ways come out of it. Now we need to choose 2 women out of 5 women that is 5 C 2 ways is 10 ways. So the committee can be chosen in 6 C 4 into 5 C 2 that is 150 ways. Now second example, a math teacher would like to test the usefulness of a new math game on 4 of the 10 students in the classroom. How many different ways can the teacher pick the students? The order in which the teacher picks the students does not matter. So evaluate ncr equal to with n equal to 10 and r equal to 4. So nc4 equal to 10 factorial upon 4 factorial into 10 minus 4 factorial. So after solving this we get the result as 210. There are 210 ways the teacher can pick the students. Now there are 12 volleyball players in total in college which will be made up of a team of 9 players. If the captain remains consistent, the team can be formed in how many ways? So here the captain is already selected. So now 11 players are there and 8 are to be chosen. So n is equal to 11 and r is equal to 8. ncr equal to n factorial upon r factorial into n minus r factorial. So here 11 c8 equal to 11 factorial upon 8 factorial into 11 minus 8 factorial. This gives the answer 165. So if the captain remains consistent, the team can be formed in 165 ways. Now a snooker team consisting of 11 players is to be formed from a pool of 15 players. In how many ways the team can be selected? So the total number of ways in which 11 players can be selected from a pool of 15 players can be calculated as 15C11 
So 15C11 gives us the result as 15 factorial upon 11 factorial into 15 minus 11 factorial which gives us the answer as 1365 ways. So in this video we have learned the concept of combination and solved some problems, understood some problems related to it. I hope you all have understood it properly and can solve more problems on it. Thank you.